Hey there, geographers, and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today, we're going to be looking at Unit 4, Topic 6, Internal Boundaries. This video is going to be focusing on gerrymandering, voting districts, redistricting, and how all these things impact elections. Before we get into redistricting and gerrymandering and the impact that has on elections, we have to understand what a voting district is. A voting district is a generic term adopted by the Bureau of the Census to include a wide variety of small polling areas, such as election districts, precincts, or wards that state and local governments create for the purpose of administering elections. In simple terms, it's a geographic area where citizens go to vote. Districts can fluctuate over time. As population changes, they may need to be redrawn in order to better reflect the population of a region. This is known as redistricting and it happens every time the census is conducted. The responsibility of redistricting districts is given to third party organizations or politicians, depending on where you live. European countries, for example, for the most part, use independent commissions to create compact, homogenous voting districts. The goal is to create districts that are not based on people's voting preferences. In the United States, most of our redistricting is done by politicians, with only six states opting to have a nonpartisan commission create their district. States that have their state legislator create the boundaries, give the power to the party that's in control. This has led to politicians taking advantage of this power and creating voting districts that would benefit their party. This is known as gerrymandering. Gerrymandering is the redistricting of legislative boundaries to benefit the political party in power. Elbridge Gerry was the first to do this practice. He was the governor of Massachusetts, and he redistricted his political boundaries in a way that gave him an edge over his opponents. These new districts looked like a salamander, and people took Gerry's name and salamander and put it together. Thus, gerrymandering was born. Politicians use gerrymandering in a variety of ways, to gain power or to keep power. One of the ways they use it is a process known as cracking. This is where politicians will spread like-minded voters out across multiple districts. This diminishes the impact of their vote and makes it more difficult for those like-minded voters to have an impact on the election. Another process used is packing. Packing is when you would pack like-minded voters into one district. This will give those like-minded voters an edge in that one district. However, it will diminish the impact of their vote in the other districts. This could allow a political party to possibly possibly lose one seat, however they would gain the others, thus gaining an advantage in the overall election. Thanks to gerrymandering, many districts in the United States are considered safe districts. Safe districts are districts where politicians don't have to worry as much about re-election because the district has been set up in a way to give them that edge over their political opponents. So what do you think? Would it be better to use a third party organization to create districts? That could lead to maybe more impartial districts being created, but does that take away some of the personal nature of politicians who are creating a district based on the people they're representing. Is the current system in the United States working or should it be changed? And if it should be changed, how do you think we should change it? These are important questions to ask as they allow us to better understand the voting process of our own country. And this allows us to make sure that we have a system that works for the people. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to answer the quiz questions that are on the screen to make sure you're getting some of these concepts. And if you found value in this video, consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel and allows me to make some more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video, geographers. I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you online.